an 82% on the save percentage. Paris shutouts in seven games played coming in. Went in the contest on a Friday. On the other side, it's in there. Road orange with the black stripes, black letters numbering to go along with it. Chipped in towards the box, and Falcon will field it for a moment, but had a Tiger bang into him, so that will lead to all of overtime pretty much and near the end of the second half as well where they saw bulk of their offense come for Princeton. This one led back in on a cross. That one goes high. What? Looking for Eddie Cheria. Yeah, right away you see Nico Knee active, puts a really good ball. Things far side, there's Eddie Cheria. Works things into the box. Eddie Cheria looking for a strike. That one's turned aside by Philip Falcon. And again, you see the danger threat of Eddie Cheria. And then talk about Loco a little bit. He, both were going up for a 50-50 ball. Eight, one heck of a shot. This side, it's Sokolowski. Sokolowski looking for a cross, just couldn't connect on it. Still lose sight of the button. them recycle it and keep the attacking set alive. Pepez back with things. Pepez will take a strike. Force Falcon to make a stop. It's loose and it's in. What a goal by Princeton. Uncharacteristic rebound given up by Falcon. You could see that ball knuckling. And it really gave him some trouble and credit to Princeton to follow up on the rebound and get the goal. A loose ball in front, and the Tigers strike first, it's 1-0. Uh. Plays things back in the midfield here is Vigilante. Vigilante has it lost, Eddie Cheria looking for a strike, it goes high and wide. Oh. Looking for Doe. Go edge of the box. Finds a little bit of space. Chips one far side, but nobody home for the Quaker. Uh, another team in Brown Friday night that was played a really good match and easily could have beaten Penn. Uh, they're certainly an NCAA tournament quality Eddie team. Eddie Cherry, a shot couldn't. Much from the guys on the field, including Brendan Curran. Not surprising, he plays through a lot of stuff and just gets on with it. <gasps> Almost My a goodness. thing of beauty there, just hitting. My goodness, that was Nico Knee again. After his goal Friday night, if it's possible, he almost one-upped himself with a sideways scissor kick. My goodness, what a shot off the, off the crossbar. And all over it was Pepez. Played back in from Jeremiah. Loose ball into the box, it goes high. My, uh, he was off sides, but there was Oliver Pratt again, looking to get his second goal in as many games. Flag was up far shy, wouldn't have counted anyway, but good ball played back in. Uh, well, you know, the town. Princeton, Shasinski and Itty Cheria. And Itty Cheria will take on it. Itty Cheria hits off the post. Falcon makes the stop, still it's loose. Quaker's trying to scramble, loose in front of the cage, somehow won't go. Shasinski again, top of the box. A strike towards the cage, turning around. And a whistle will blow. See, that's not necessary by Ben Doe, that he's got to be better with his emotions. There was nothing to that. It was a foul, plain and simple. There's no need for Ben Doe to come in and do what he did. Now he's put himself in a really bad situation. See things again here. A long sprawl with Princeton. Yep. Their home field. Jeremiah will be the one to take on this corner. Big spot trailing one nothing. Jeremiah leads one in, headed away, and will go out of play. And the Quakers will send up another corner. Well, that was a really good service by Jeremiah. Uh, Oliver Pratt, I think, took a took a pretty. Now looking to help find it here. Jeremiah leads one far post. Korzanowski will give chase along the far. We were talking about it in the Brown game as Cayelli. Leads one ahead. Kelly will put that one. Nahenke on the corner. Leads this one near post. It's forced out by Princeton, but right back on it. There was Jeremiah charging forward. Goes uh, just wide. Yeah, it was Gaffney. It was Gaffney. Caught it really well and just missed it. Uh, just missed it wide. Caught it very well. I think the keeper was beaten. If Here come the Quakers the other way. Korsnowski dropped it back. Jeremiah fights for this one. Jeremiah turned, fire just leaves it shy of that near post. Well, I love Joe. Tapped back in. 
a turn and fire. Jeremiah plays this one in, but the loose balls were angled up by the sophomore goalkeeper. The attack on the right flank. Doe, tap forward. Gaffney looking for a shot. Loose in front and will deflect off a Tiger and go out of play. Yeah. Trail by one. Nahenke leads this one near post, but will curl back in and will not be able to go on target. Go Roberts just launches that one downfield as time will expire in the first half. Strong 45 for Princeton and the Tigers. They go into the break, leading by one. Princeton, we talked for us though. The thing that I noticed at the half was that Princeton has had possession for 69%. The way. Battled through here, tapped forward, looking for a shot, a turn, and a fire goes high. Wagner couldn't wrangle that one home. Yeah. Eddie Cheria. Yeah, there, back to Kelly. Goes past the end line, and I think spawning here for Princeton. Jasinski leads one, left post, looking for a touch there was Pepez, but yeah. just left. Somebody like Leo Bernie's got to step up and make that header. Nunez over to Kelly. Kelly tipped back in. Falcon trying to get a piece of it. Still, it's loose. Far sideline, Eddie Cheria finds it right back. Eddie Cheria puts this one on the ground. That one a slow roller past Falcon, and that one through the spine of the field. Lost possession there, big, a big turnover for Penn, needed it. Jasinski will take things away, Falcon comes out, shot towards Cage, it's in! In Nunez, 2-0, Princeton! It there it is, there's the second goal for Princeton, and it comes off of something that we've been talking about. You know, Leo Bernie getting caught with the ball at the top of his box, trying to touch by cut somebody cut it in front of the defender and they get punished Jasinski forces the turnover Nunez all over it far down on it for Nunez the sophomore with his second of the year in the biggest of spots it's third Kaeli looking for space. Beautiful pass. Jeremiah was trying to get after it, but Samuels is the pen has had on restarts in the attack this year. Korzanowski takes a shot. That one, Nitty Cheria. Nitty enters the box looking for help. Does find it there on the cross. He taps back to Kelly. Kelly will take a shot. That one is turned aside. Bernie was the one in the area, and Gaffney tries to start the. Trailing by two. Kaeli strikes straight into the wall. And Henke will have things go past him and lead far side. Shipped back into the box. Korzanowski taps it down. Still it's loose. Looking for a shot. Still it's blocked. Take on this corner. Trailing by two. Kaeli plays one. Far post off the header goes high. The young Dash Pepez answers it there, but a nice pass over. Works on a cross. It's turned aside. Loose on the side of the post, trying to get another shot out of it. Tangled up was Kaeli. Jack Hunt, former All-Ivy, honorable mention. Princeton back with it. Dawson plays one on the ground. Sunohara finds Itty Cheria, whose shot goes in! Daniel Itty Cheria! Boy, again, a, a, a giveaway and getting punished, Itty Cheria with his first goal of the day, a great finish. Makes no mistake, gets his head up, picks his spot, stakes the Tigers to a three goal lead. Bit loose, Dawson has things won. Top of the box looking for something on the ground. It was forced to go into Jeremiah. Jeremiah leads one. Back post, loose off a header, it goes out of play. See what undefeated in Ivy League play. Picking up their 10th Ivy League title. As for Prince uh, for Nates here today, and Eddie Cherry looking for more. Finds a nice pass to Knee. Knee into the box. Nico Knee shot goes wide. In regulation time. Played back into the box, looking for a header. It's played out. Jeremiah looking to finish. Can't do it. Turn and fire. Hits off the post. Trying to put it back home, and they do. Leo Bernie, after a great effort by Brendan Curran, who else for the Quakers?
getting on the end of it. And then Bernie finishes it to make it three to one. Quakers able to cut into the deficit. You see it one more time, a swarm of chances, but just lining up in front, put back in, it's Leo Bernie. Two goal game here from Philly. Leo Bernie up as a third forward, Messer sliding back as a center back. Getting the shot, Falcon able to. Forward. Everybody into the box, Jeremiah. Looking back, post, first touch, and the Tigers looking to get it out. That one will go over the end line. Frankly, I didn't expect to see any either team score three goals today, but here we are. Doe works things, plays it on a cross. It's down to play, and the Quakers get another, another launch forward. Korzanowski finds it. Stars looking for room, hauled in there from Samuels. 45 seconds to go. Clock will start to wind down. The Tigers know it already. With 35 go, Quakers can't find anything. Start the party on Nassau Street. The Princeton Tigers are your 2024 Ivy League Men's Soccer Tournament Champions. 3-1 final here from Philadelphia. Yeah, again, fully deserved by this Princeton Tiger team. They were the best team in the, in the tournament on the weekend. I mean, beating Cornell on Friday, Penn on Sunday, two nationally ranked teams. Uh, they, they deserved it. They put on a show defensively. They put on a show on the attack. They showed resiliency and persistence. Title here on Rhodes Field. Congratulations to the Princeton Tigers, your 2024 Ivy League Tournament champs. You saw the man right in the middle in at each area, smiling all around, it was the man of the hour on Friday. And today, him and his side clinched a spot in the NCAA Tournament well, Things go final. Yeah, I mean, I think that you look at, in, in my conversation with Coach Barlow, talking about a core group of guys, a lot of juniors that have logged a lot of minutes over the past couple of years and have been close but just haven't been able to get it done. Well, they got it done this weekend. Kudos to them. Full credit to them for their performance. Deserved champions. Party on in Mercer County, New Jersey. The Princeton.